right, I'm here with I, Irene Snyder, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what her company does and the services that it offers. So, go ahead. Okay, so I am Irene Snyder. Uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to interview me. Um, I've just founded a new space company. We are a group of uh, entrepreneurs, um, mostly scientists, and uh, we want to provide um, our, our core expertise, which is space radiation um, mission tailored analysis, pre and post flight dosimetry. We also have a core expertise in safety and risk analysis. And we also want to provide through partnerships a crew training and spacesuit consulting and development. Um, so basically right now we are, we are starting, we're very excited, we are already competing in some proposals and um, we are definitely looking forward to creating the future together with all the space entrepreneurs. Okay. Um, so is this for, this is mostly for human space flight? You're, you're targeting the um, emerging commercial market? We are targeting the human space flight. Um, we want to provide an alternative solution um, for the actual radiation um, estimates and dosimetry. Um, and that's going to be targeted towards human. Uh, humans, okay. uh, obviously both the, the, the pilots, the commanders and the crew or the tourists. And um, you also told me earlier about a, a project in uh, North Dakota. Can you explain that a little bit? Yes, well that's a fascinating project. Actually, about a year ago we were competing, um, not as a company, this was myself as an individual. I was invited on to participate as radiation specialist for a lunar analog, um, full-scale lunar analog uh, proposal. Um, led by Pablo de Leon, who is a very well-renowned spacesuit um, designer. And he's based in the Department of Space Studies at the University of North Dakota. And, um, and he invited me to come on and, and, and write the proposal together with him and also uh, Andrew uh, Daga. He's a space architect and we have um, a couple of other people in our group and we actually won the proposal, so we're NASA funded and we've been for over a year now designing the full-scale uh, lunar analog and it's going to be based in the North Dakota Badlands. It's How? Actually, it's, yes, go ahead. Sorry, it's actually directed out of the uh, North Dakota Space uh, Studies Department. How is this different from uh, what the Mars Society has been doing in Utah and up in... Well, I might say it's hugely different because we are building a full-scale, absolutely um, NASA-monitored, uh, realistic um, uh, base um, and it's, it's, uh, it's pressurized, mm -hmm. so it's exactly as it should be. The spacesuits are real, the real spacesuits that will be used for planetary exploration. Um, the rovers, we have one rover that is going to be pressurized, the other rover will not be pressurized. The full habitat is going to be pressurized as well. And this is all closely monitored by NASA and, and industry experts. Um, we also have um, other people from industry, so it's really a professional and academic setup. Okay, and how soon do you think it's going to be built? How quickly? Well, uh, right now we're really, I would say, we're nearing the, uh, the, the final definition phase and we're going to start constructing soon. Uh, I would say we would have perhaps about a year, uh, but I'm not so sure. I don't want to place a deadline because we really haven't um, discussed that yet. I'm actually going in, in, a, in a couple of days, I'm going to North Dakota. Okay. So I will be meeting with them and then I will really see exactly what's the progress. And how long will these missions go? Do you have a baseline for a mission? Yeah, for people yes. To be there? Our, our case scenario, our, um, our lunar base is actually a long-term six months uh, case scenario. Oh, okay. Right, so it's a long term, it's considered a long-term human settlement on the moon. Okay. Um, so it's actually quite a complex uh, project. And, okay. um, and, um, and we have to, I mean, we have to work uh, very hard to get uh, the all the construction done and then we will be on the media, but right now we we'll have to wait until we have something to show. Okay. Anything else you wanted to add? Um, no, I'm just very excited to be right here, um, you know, at the International Space, uh, Commercial Space Flight uh, 
symposium. And, uh, and everybody is, is, is having a lot of interest in, in, in my new company, so I'm hoping that I can really uh, provide the services to keep commercial space light safe. Okay, well thank you very much. Thank you so much. Right.